Hello viewers, welcome to the session on density based approach in clustering analysis. Please make sure to watch all the prerequisite videos for your clear understanding and to make best use of it. Let's look at the definition of density based clustering. These clustering algorithms are mainly designed to discover clusters with arbitrary shapes. And these algorithms regard clusters as a dense regions of objects in the data space. Regions of low density are considered to represent noise. So the famous technique under density approach is DB scan, which stands for density based spatial clustering of applications with noise. It has two parameters. First is epsilon neighborhood. For any object P, the epsilon neighborhood can be the neighborhood of P with a radius epsilon where P is nothing but object. So if P is an object and epsilon is equal to 2, then epsilon neighborhood is the area which results by drawing a circle around P with radius equal to 2. So let's understand the same in a diagrammatic representation and you can have a look here. P is our object and epsilon is the radius which is equal to 2 and epsilon neighborhood is the area around the P with radius equal to 2. The next parameter in it is min points which stands for minimum number of points in the epsilon neighborhood of the object P. So if min points equal to 2 then at least 2 points has to be there in the region in this region. So let's now have a look at basic terms and definition that we use in dbscan. The very first term is core object. If the epsilon neighborhood of an object P contains a predefined minimum points of objects, then P is said to be a core object. Confused? Let's have a visualization so that you can understand it more clearly. See, here P is said to be a core object because it has satisfied the minimum points range that is 4 in the epsilon neighborhood region. In the epsilon neighborhood region, we are having 6 points and our satisfaction is with 4. So hence, P is said to be a core object. The next term is directly density reachable. Any object P is directly density reachable to object Q if P is the epsilon neighborhood of Q and Q is again a core object. So again, let's have a look at the picture so that we can have clear idea. See, here Q is directly reachable to P because both P and Q are a core object and they are within the same epsilon region. And the next key term is density reachable. For a given set of objects D, any object P is density reachable from object Q with respect to epsilon naught and minimum points. If there exists a chain of objects P1, P2, Pn where P1 is equal to Q and Pn is P that is the initial object is Q and the terminal object is P such that P of i plus 1 is directly density reachable from Pi. Confused? Let's have a look at the example so that you can have the clear idea. See, here P is core objects since it has greater than 4 points in its epsilon neighborhood. Similarly, M is also again a core object and Q is density reachable to P since Q is directly density reachable to M and M is directly density reachable to P. So, it is just a clear thing of reflexive and transitive property. If x tends to y then y tends to x, it is the reflexive property which means if Q is directly reachable to M, it means M is also directly reachable to Q. Similarly, it also follows transitive property that is Q tends to M, M tends to P, then Q tends to P. That is, Q is density reachable to P. Because M is acting as directly reachable in between of both of them. So now let's quickly have a look at the DB scan algorithm. The very step is to arbitrarily select a new point P, which is nothing but our object, and then retrieve all the density reachable from P with respect to epsilon naught and min points. And if P is a core point, a cluster is formed. If P is a border point, no points are density reachable from P 
and DB scan visits the next point of the database and continue the process until all the points have been processed. With appropriate settings of parameters of epsilon and minimum points, the algorithm is effective at finding arbitrary shaped clusters. I hope this video proved fruitful to you and hope you have gained something extra than what you were knowing earlier. Thank you.